How does adding 20 more yards to your drive sound? And how about if you could literally do it with the product in just 20 swings a day? Well, the power stick can help you do exactly that. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV. And I've been lucky enough to teach this game for 25 years. And I've worked with tour professionals all the way down to beginners. And one of the most common questions I get is, hey coach, how do I hit the golf ball farther? I want more distance. Well, the power stick is the perfect device just for that. Because in order to increase your distance, you gotta have quicker club head speed, but in order to have faster club head speed, you gotta understand lag. Now, what is lag? Well, pretty simply, in its basic form, think of lag as storing of energy. And you wanna store that energy, but you also wanna be able to release it at the right moment of time. And the power stick helps you do that. So it's got, first of all, this formed grip on here. This is a side benefit that I really like because as a golf coach, I check out the grip all the time. And I want my students to have a good solid grip. So this formed grip on here, Helps you get your hands placed on there perfectly every single time. That's a great benefit to you as a golfer because not only is it going to help you increase your club head speed, but it's going to help you hit the golf ball in the fairway because you're going to be more consistent. Now the other thing is it's got this nice shaft that's kind of light and it's pretty flexible because there's a distinct difference between swinging harder and swinging faster. And in order to swing faster, you gotta have good tempo. And the light shaft that's pretty whippy and flexible allows you to work just on your tempo. Matter of fact, there's quite a few products out there that that's all that they do. They help you with your tempo and it's just a light shaft that's kind of whippy. That, you get that with a power stick. The big thing here though is increasing the lag so you get more club head speed. So it's got this bullet feature kind of right here. It's a ma couple magnets, fits right on here. There's a dial on there. So based on your club head speed, your current club head speed, and it's gonna increase. If you're using the power stick, it's gonna increase, and you can change the dial to match your swing speed as it's increasing. So it's really simple. So I've got my hands on here. Let me go ahead and demonstrate it. Got the perfectly formed grip. I got the nice light shaft, all right, so I can work on my tempo. Let me just make a swing, and I want you to listen to what happens. Okay, so you can hear that pop. Now what that pop is, is that's the release of the lag, the release of the energy. Now the louder the pop, the more club head speed you have. So I like that. The louder I can make that pop, the faster the club is going. But also, you want to pay attention to where you're releasing it at. Because if you release it too far back and down here, all right, over the top, casting, you've probably heard those terms before, that means that you're releasing the lag. You have no lag at impact because you're releasing it too early. The power stick gives you immediate feedback on that. So when I'm swinging it, and I'm giving it to my students, I'm just going to have them swing. And when I tell them, I say, hey, I want to hear a loud pop but I want to hear it on the front side of the ball, the target side of the ball. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, I want them to hear that pop on that side. And if they do that, I know they're increasing the lag, they're storing the energy, and most importantly, with good tempo, they're releasing it at the right moment of time. Now, there's a lot of other products out there that say they can help you increase your club head speed and increase your lag. But they require batteries. You gotta, you gotta hit a golf ball in order to use them. There's a lot of other things going on. With the power stick, literally, I give it to a student, they grab it, they make 20 swings, they listen for the pop, and they're off and running. So you can do it at home, you can do it on the first tee, you can do it before a practice session. So it's simple and it's easy to use. If you want to hit the golf ball farther, you've got to increase your club head speed. In order to do that, you've got to increase your leg, store the energy, and release it at the right moment of time. 20 swings a day, 20 yards, it doesn't get any better than that.